I set up the business in October because I had no work, no job, and I was completely dependent on the state. And with two children, it's hard trying to find a job and pay for childcare. So I found something that I like doing, something that I've always done with horses. And I thought to myself, why not start from home? So I started small, got myself a business plan together, and it just literally has just been non-stop from there. We travel to people's houses with the ponies that I own and that I've trained, and we help celebrate birthday parties, communions, anything really that would possibly replace a bouncy castle or a clown or any sort of entertainer. And because it's new and it's different, people seem to go for it and think it's fantastic. And you see, it's great enjoyment. The kids love it. So everything really has to go into a flow and making sure that we get every party right, making sure that we meet our deadlines at home for the schooling of the horses. Once you have that flow, it's perfect. I'm one of these people, I suppose, if somebody says, oh, you can't do that, I'll be like, let me show you I can. So I work really, really hard at everything. And like I said, the ideas literally just, they pop into my head. Or I might see something similar that somebody else is doing and think, well, how could I better that? How could I come from a different angle, make it unique? My main advice to somebody is, do your research and surround yourself um, by professionals. You know, broadband is important. It is my main connection to the outside world, and it's only when I'm taking a booking, um, that's when I'll actually speak to the customer for the first time. I could have spoken to them first on Facebook. So the plan for the future is um, to expand. Hopefully, I would like to have my own place and my own land. Um, I'm actually working with Bucus at the moment. They're designing miniature horse rugs, which I will be selling for them. Um, my second business is Mullins Mini Tack. Um, so hopefully soon, you'll be able to see some decent quality miniature horse rugs because they're actually very hard to come by at the moment in this country. Yeah, the ponies, they, they love kids anyway, um, particularly Flash, the chestnut pony that you see in the video. He actually, he came from Winerstown Miniature Stud, but before he was there, he was actually at a creche in Dublin, surrounded by kids. Um, but his owners brought him back because they saw he was for sale, sent him to me for schooling and then I fell in love with him and bought him. He's just a piece of cake. He loves kids, he loves the attention and he loves getting dressed up. <laughs>